Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we will be making beef bourguignon. It's basically like a crock pot pot roast type thing. These are the ingredients you will be needing for this. So we will be starting off with the beef. We will be searing this in a skillet with some salt and pepper, if I can get it out. All right. We are searing it in a skillet, like so. Um, How many of you get so excited when you start cooking something just because you know it's going to be so delicious? Start that up. Get some salt. Get some pepper. I'm going to flip it real quick. And get some salt and pepper on my other side. While that's searing, we're going to be chopping up our vegetables just so that we're not wasting any time. I, everything's gonna have to be done and in the crock pot basically at the same time. We're just gonna be cutting these carrots into little round pieces like so. Um, do as much or as little as you like. You can always add to or take away from recipes. It doesn't have to be exactly what the recipe tells you. It's a matter of what you like. If you don't like carrots, don't put a lot of carrots. It's that simple. Obviously, you're going to want to wash your vegetables, your potatoes, anything that you're using. Go ahead and give it a good rinse, especially with all this coronavirus going on. You can never be too sure. Working at the car wash, yeah. So we're just gonna wash those nice and fresh. I use red potatoes for this recipe. You can use regular potatoes. Like I said, it's all a matter of preference. It's a recipe. You don't have to be specific. Just kind of do whatever you want. And it's probably gonna be fine. We're gonna come over here and flip our meat now. Probably nice and seared on that side. As you can see, it's a nice, good brown color. That's what you want. While the other side is searing, we are going to be chopping our potatoes. So for these, you just wanna do it in nice little edible pieces. Not too big, not too small. Once your vegetables are chopped, your meat is seared, we are going to put the whole slab of meat into the crock pot just by itself nothing else in it just throw it on in there with that same skillet we are going to be cooking our sauce so you, you want to start off with a cup of red wine typically these small ones are almost a full cup if not a little bit more we're just going to pour that straight into the skillet you want to keep the heat at like a medium flame we don't want it going too hard if you have your vegetables ready go ahead and throw that in top of your meat and while your sauce is cooking you can go ahead and add in your garlic your thyme and that's it <laughs> so it calls for two teaspoons of garlic Garlic is its own thing. Put as much as you want, as much as your heart desires, that's okay. For time, it calls for two tablespoons of it. I actually am running rather low. So I'm going to put in the rest of my thyme and then substitute the rest with oregano. 
once you get your wine that is in the skillet currently simmering, once you get it to that perfect simmer, we're going to add in our chicken broth. It calls for two cups of it. Typically a can like this is right around two cups. We're also going to be adding in our soy sauce and our tomato sauce. This recipe calls for a half a cup of tomato sauce. This is eight ounces, that is a full cup, so we're only gonna be doing half of this. We will be adding in our soy sauce. It's a quarter cup of soy sauce. <laughs> Okay, once you get all of the stuff, the things, the ingredients in the skillet, once you get it to like a nice simmery boil, you want to be stirring, whisking, whatever, some flour into it. Flour is going to thicken this sauce up so it's not just really watery sauce. You don't want that for your soup. It's basically a soup. Um, yeah, so this, this recipe calls for a quarter cup. Just kind of throw some in there. You'll be fine. This is my flour. Once that thickens up a bit, we will be dumping all of this on top of everything in the crock pot. You already have your beef, your veggies, all of that, your herbs. Um, it's already in there. We're just gonna be layering this on top and it's gonna be beautiful. This is what your crock pot should be looking like at this point. You have your beef, you have your veggies and herbs and garlic and your sauce. So from this point, we will be stirring everything together, making sure Nothing is, I don't know, not mixed in. Um, just get that sauce basically almost on top of everything. Then we plug it in. This recipe will be cooking for, we're gonna put eight hours on low. You can check it from there. You can do it on high. It'll take about six, seven hours. I just like how the meat turns out when you cook it on low. It just gives it a more tender feeling. So from there, we wait and then we get to eat it. Yeah. Oh, we are back. I'm here to review the beef on Nine hours later. This is my favorite dish, so I don't even gotta review it. I just gotta eat it, because I know it's good. You don't blend, I blend mine. She doesn't blend hers, I blend my foods. We eat ours with rice, just white rice. Um. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I already dropped it on my shirt. Yes, so this is the best thing. Is it as good as these carrots are to shine? It's better. <laughs> you think those carrots are good? I just want you to say beef woman. Beef woman. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my first cooking video. I am so excited to hear about your guys' journeys with this recipe. It's not a hard one. We started off really simple. Um, yeah, thank you again so much and I'm looking forward to the next one. You guys will have to give me some ideas of what you want to see me cook. I have a vast variety of things that I cook. Now we can go from there. All right, bye!